If your vehicle is involved in an accident, regardless of the damage, what details must you give to the other drivers, if asked? No details at all until you have contacted your insurance company. Only your name and address details if a policeman asks for them. You must let them see your license, take details, and give the name and address of the vehicle's owner. What must you do when you are towing a caravan to help other vehicles overtake? Drive at least 25 kilometers per hour below the speed limit. Stop immediately and let the faster vehicle overtake. Keep at least 60 meters behind heavy vehicles or other vehicles towing caravans. Are you permitted to tow a caravan with a person riding in the caravan? Yes, provided you do not exceed 60 km per hour. Yes, if the persons in the caravan are over 12 years of age. No, not under any circumstances. If you see a horse and rider on the road, what should you do? Speed up to pass the horse. Sound your horn to warn the rider. Slow down and give them plenty of room. Are you permitted to drive a car towing more than one trailer? Yes, provided you have held a license for two years. Yes, if the combined length of vehicle and trailers does not exceed 15 meters. No, not at all. You buy a car and find that the spare tire is smooth, the tread is only just visible. If you get a puncture will it be legal to drive a car with a smooth spare tire? Yes, if the tire is correctly inflated and the side walls of the tire are in good condition. Yes, but you must get the puncture fixed within 24 hours. No, it's illegal to drive a car with a smooth tire, even if it is the spare. You should use your right hand indicator when you intend to slow down. You are about to stop. You intend to move to the right at any time. You see a broken yellow line painted on the roadway adjacent to the curb. What does it mean? Clearway restrictions apply. You must not stop during the clearway hours. You may at any time park along this part of the road for one hour only. Bicycle riders must ride along the yellow line. Stop signs or flashing lights at railway crossings should always be obeyed because pedestrians might be crossing. Trains are fast, heavy and cannot stop quickly. Car brakes often fail.
If you are involved in an accident where your vehicle needs to be towed away and the police does not attend the crash scene, you must report the accident to the police station nearest to where the accident happened within 24 hours. Only need to report the accident to the police if someone was injured. Do not need to report the accident to the police. Before driving a long distance at fast speed or carrying a full car load, you should Make sure you have a street directory, so you know where you are going. Check your tire pressure, and if necessary, increase it to what the manufacturer recommends. Have a large meal and a cup of coffee. When merging onto the freeway from the entrance, you should look for a large enough break in the traffic and adjust your speed so as to fit into the traffic flow. Sound your horn, turn on your indicator lights and move onto the freeway. Stop and check the traffic behind you on the entrance. If you see a sign indicating road repairs are going on, you should slow down and watch for traffic controllers and instructions. Stop immediately and wait for instructions. Maintain the same speed. If an oncoming vehicle crosses the center line and is coming straight at you and you cannot stop, you should slow down and hope that the driver will turn away. Brake, look for room to the left, sound your horn and flash your lights. Drive onto the wrong side of the road and hope the other vehicle does not do the same. You should not drive across a railway level crossing when you are towing a caravan. A station is nearby. Traffic is blocking the other side. What are you required to do? If you develop a serious medical condition that could affect your driving, once you become aware of the condition you must notify the RTA. Hand your license in at the nearest police station. Tell your doctor and let him or her notify the RTA. Your car registration expires today. You have your car inspected for registration renewal, but it fails the inspection. What should you do? After today you must not drive the car until it has been repaired, passed another inspection and registered. You have seven days to have the car repaired, after which the RTA considers it to be unregistered. Go to the RTA and ask them to renew your registration and tell them you will soon get the car fixed. A friend lends you his car. It is very noisy and blows a lot of smoke. He tells you the vehicle has been given a defect notice, but it's still okay to drive it. What should you do? Before you borrow the car check the defect notice to make sure it is legal to drive the car. 
borrow the car, but always drive at 10 km per hour below the speed limit. Borrow the car but only drive on streets where the car will not be a danger to others. A friend lends you a van that has seats for 10 passengers. What type of license do you need to drive this type of vehicle? A heavy rigid vehicle license. A car license. A small bus license. If a vehicle you are driving is involved in an accident and a person is injured, what must you do after stopping? Report the accident to police within seven days. Render every assistance and take immediate steps to have an ambulance notified. Then call the police. Only call the police if the accident also resulted in over $500 worth of property damage.